Hello YouTube. I'm back after the operation, like I said I would. So just want to show you a quick boom, 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 boom. Yeah. So we got in late last night. We got in the hotel about half past nine. Checked in the fastest checking I've ever been in. Honestly, uh, giving me passport, he had the key, the door, everything waiting for me. It's like I don't know if they're a partner of the the company where we get the herd on, but they was they was so smooth. I've never got a room faster in my life. Uh, I'm on the fifth floor, which has got great views. I won't show them now. Maybe oh, I'll show them now because it's got uh, it's got a hotel just opposite. Yeah, you might not be able to see anything. I think. Hopefully, you can see this. But the hotel opposite. Oh yeah, you can. You should be able to. So you what, it's a good job now. Uh, my room's got nice curtains because I wouldn't want to be facing that and golden chula. And in the daytime you can see for miles, but you can't really see with this light, so. But yeah, the rooms are lovely as well. And I'm staying in the Titanic Golden Horn Hotel. Uh, yeah, great, great hotel. Breakfast was a bit meh. I got toast, cheese on toast, that did me, and a glass of orange juice. Got picked up at quarter past seven, straight to the clinic. Signed the waivers, signed the documents that um, you're happy for it all to go ahead. And uh, that was it. I had a blood test done. And I was getting prepped within within five minutes of stepping foot in the clinic. So it was dead, dead smooth, dead effective. Uh, they know what you're there for, and they know all the paperwork. It's all ready, ready to go. So. Clinic went, uh, the, sorry, the treatment went well. I got home, it started at eight o'clock in the morning, I think. We got there at half past seven. I was I was on the actual bed getting the op at eight o'clock, just gone eight o'clock. And we finished at five o'clock at night. So I had, a, I had the beard, as you can see. Quite a bit of the uh, front, I was, I mean, I was, I know I was receding, but I don't know I was going like that far back. And uh, obviously the beard on the other side and this. So anyway, I got looked after. I'm really happy with how Sule her was. You know, no, um, no awkward, no awkward moments, nothing. Any questions they had, they'd answer me. They'd give me away a package with all the shampoos, hair spray, tablets, antibiotics, everything that you want to take, and any instructions how to use all that. So tomorrow we've got to go back for a PRP treatment. So you only have to be up at half past eight tomorrow. So that's good. Get a little bit of a lie in there. I took a sleeping pad tablet because I, think, I don't think I'm going to sleep very well. You have to stay, uh, stay in your, in your straight up lines, and I've got to put a towel around my neck and stuff. So it's going to be a little bit uncomfortable. That's why I took a sleeping tablet. So hopefully I get a decent night's sleep, and uh, onto the P, a PRP treatment tomorrow, which is Thursday. And Friday, this should be like a day come and shampoo it and stuff. It does look a little bit crusty, but that's probably because I had a I had a I had a Turkish kebab for my tea. Don't know if it was uh, authentic. It tastes really nice. I don't know how it compares to the on the streets of Istanbul, but it was from the it was from the five star hotel. Hopefully, it's a good example. It was really tasty. I ate all of it anyway, so I recommend the food in the restaurant. I would I would go around for a walk around. I was thinking of going for a drink, but. I think I just, because I look like this, I don't think I'm going to bother. I'm going to get an early night, hopefully wake up early enough to uh, spend more than 15 minutes at breakfast. And then I'm going to uh, get picked up. So tomorrow, I probably won't do a video unless it is something to worth talk about. It's a PRP treatment. I think they take the plasma from your blood and they'll inject it into the, the areas where you've had your treatment done, which cause, which uh, is a good effect for her growth and it promotes all stuff like that. So, uh, and Friday, like I say, it's just a wash. I won't do anything on that. You, you don't want, you don't need me to tell you that they're, I'm gonna go if have me hair wash with a special shampoo, that's it. So I'll probably see you in, I might do a video after a week when the scabs start falling off because they said after 10 to 15 days, all the scabs should should come off on my beard. And I'll, I'll just show you the, the rest of the head while we're doing it. So there might, be a, there might be a video in a week or two of showing how the actual beard's coming along. And then I'll start focusing on the hair, which is what most people want to see, I would, I would assume. So anyway, guys, 
Oh, that was a good thing on the transfer, actually. The driver who brought who was bringing me to the hotel actually stopped in a shop and said, you can have whatever you want and you don't have to pay. I was like, wow, that made me feel like a real VIP. So that was one thing I forgot. But yeah, Sula Her, very good, very good uh, treatment so far. So if you looking for get one done boys or girls, because they do do girls as well, they do eyebrows, they do um, fall patches, girls have them as well. So uh, yeah, get in contact with them. We had a Brazilian, two Brazilian guys here today, another guy from Cambridge, myself, and I think there was another guy from Ireland, so there was five of us all there today, and they all seemed very happy with their service as well, so, yeah, that's me out, I'll see you in the next one, which will be in about a week's time, like and subscribe, if you subscribe, you'll see when the video goes live, cheers guys.